Rosewood Funeral Home is going to be handing out masks as well. And today is the day when the mask order for Harris County goes into effect. It's so important to note that you can use a bandana, you can use a handkerchief, you can use a scarf to make a homemade mask. So don't feel pressured to come out and sit in these long lines if you have any of those items at home. Just make sure you're washing those homemade masks with hot water in between uses. Now, you must make sure that if you're over the age of 10 years old and you're out in public, both your mouth and your nose are covered up. And the reason for this, according to our health professionals, is we need to stop the spread of germs between each other as much as possible. Now, take a listen to Mayor Sylvester Turner explain why this is so incredibly important. And the reason for that is that we know anywhere between 25 to 35 percent of the people uh, who are infectious are asymptomatic. They don't, they're not showing any symptoms, they're not coughing, no tightness of, of chest, no fever, but they are still uh, uh, infectious, and so they can infect someone else. So the purpose of the mask is to protect other people from you. Enforcement Judge Lena Hidalgo did say that up to a $1,000 fine could be imposed if you were vi in violation of this order. But HPD Chief Art Acevedo, along with Mayor Sylvester Turner, say they're focused on educating the public about why this is important and that in, in imposing a fine will be a last resort. We're live from the Southeast Side, Charlie at City, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. Charlie, thank you. There's also a new testing site opening in Southeast Houston today. It's at the Barnett Sports Complex on Fairway, not not far from the South Loop. The drive through site launches at 10 this morning. Several local leaders will be there, including Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. In Montgomery County, a new mobile